to crush his, his opponents. Oh no, that's okay. That's somebody else, eh? Chono. Conan. Yes, this Jonan is Jonan the Barbarian. Jonan the Barbarian. There you go. Yeah, I thought I'd make a little What about joke. Ronan the Barbarian? Ronan. Well, let's, let's stop that right now, shall we? Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Bushido 5 Osaka Castle Hall. More Ronello along with Boss Rudin. And uh, Carlos Newton, my friend, Boss, is uh, made the move permanent now at 183 pounds. 185-pound weight class takes down... Rio Chonin, we saw him against Daijo Takase make the move, and uh, he feels that, uh, well, the decision wasn't fair, but Takase took the uh, victory at the uh, Bushido event, and now uh, these two will go to battle. Of course, Newton very comfortable on the ground, while Chonin known more for his striking. Yep, Carlos is looking for the full side mount. Full side mount, just side mount is good, boss. Nice, jumping over there to the other side. Look at him move, he moves like a cat. He's gonna be locked in a lag lock now. And this is the way he lost his first fight. This is a toe hold right now. This could be trouble. Oh, nice shot. First appearance in Pride. Yep. He lost against Sakuraba with Back a knee bar. Pride three, and um, for many it was uh, the best fight in Pride's early history. And again, if you're interested in seeing that fight, or any other of the great matchups in Pride's History, well, all you have to do is order the DVDs at pridefc.com. And uh, Noon right now still looking to uh, maneuver, and Chonan very busy from the bottom. We saw this in Chonan's debut as well as he's going for the armbar from underneath here, boss. Yeah, even a triangle choke there also. Chonan in his debut against Ricardo the Big Dog Almeida. He uh, lost the decision at Bushido 3, and uh, Newton... Now with full mount, and now with some ground and pound from the Ronan Carlos Newton. Nice shots there. Nice reversal, but Newton can throw him to the right right now. He has to do it now, though. He's got the arm trapped. We talked about Ricardo, the big dog Almeida. That was his last competitive fight at Bushido 3, as he has since retired to focus on teaching and family life. And, boss, I know that uh, I speak for you as well when we wish the entire Almeida family nothing but the best. Ricardo, Look nothing but a going class for an And he is going for the armbar from the bottom. Oh, now. You what? Yep, he's going to try for it, but it's not going to work. Chono's doing a great job in defending it. And we He's saw him do this rapper. against Almeida. So from a defensive standpoint, we know that Chonan is able Armbar to coming. defend submissions. He's already pulling it out. You see, before the attempt comes, he's already pulling it out. But now, how well-versed is he in trying submissions of his own? Because, again, this is very reminiscent of the fight against Almeida, where he was able to defend the submissions, but, uh, again, came up on the short end of the decision because he wasn't able to initialize a lot of his own. Yep. Just have to wait and see what's going to happen in this fight. And when you talk to him, he says he's not comfortable on the ground. He wants to keep this fight standing. So far, Newton is not allowing him to do so. Oh, that nice strike there by Chonin. Yep. Three minutes have elapsed. Yeah, Newton trapping the right arm of Chono all the time, tried to go for it, but Chono is pulling it out before he even uh, can secure it by throwing his leg over the head. Nice up kick here. Newton, of course, coming off a loss to Takase that we talked about prior to that. He looked listless in a loss to Renato Verissimo in a UFC matchup. So really, he has a lot to prove to himself and to his fans here in Japan and around the world. And right now, he remains on the bottom, neutralizing the striking attack of Rio Chonan. But again, this is Bushido. And the referee watching intently as there is Chonan again with some striking from the top. Looking to pass the guard. Good striking power. Whoa. Newton already again opening his guard, looking for that armbar. 
And the fans might be interested to know that in the corner of Chonin, as he continues to now go to the body and upstairs as he has Newton in the corner, now up to his feet is Chonin, and they're both to their feet, and he's met with a kick is Newton. Wow, Chonin looks really good here. Up kick and mixing it up with the leg punch combination down to the headlock and takes him down. And Newton was looking to sweep there, boss, but uh, good balance and positioning by Chonin to maintain dominant position. And we talk about who's in the corner of Chonin. Some familiar faces in Kazuhiro Nakamura and Dokon Janosuke Mishima. Wow, good corner right there. So what would you advise Chonin to do from this position, boss? Uh, Carlos Newton should throw him to the right right now. Yep, and still, he can try to go. Oh, no, he's going to go. Nice Pretty self. much going to shoot for a single leg. No, he cannot do it because he's... There's he's a nice, nice, nice drive. knee there. Chonin acquitting himself well here, and now Newton. Great job of uh, wow. assuming mount position. But we need action as his corner is also employing Newton to do. Yeah, Newton needs to break that that uh, grip right there by just cross-facing Chonin and then pushing himself upwards. So uh, Chonin is going to neck crank himself, and the harder he's going to hold Newton then, the more pressure he's going to receive on his own neck. Newton, a very methodical fighter, one of the more intelligent fighters you'll come across. Possibly had the match of the night of the first Bushido last October, winning a split decision over Henzo Gracie. What well, was a great ground battle. Wow, We're seeing here. that here now. Armbar. Yeah, the got great it. Armbar. He's got it. Newton fully yeah. extending yeah. the arm of Chonan. But look at Chonin wow, fight his this. way out of it, turning into Newton. Oh, now. Oh, beautiful, beautiful escape by Rio Chonin. Unbelievable. I've never seen this. I mean, it was unbelievable as well. Full, full on. And that warrants a great applause from the crowd here at Osaka Castle Hall as he had the arm fully extended, Bob. Fully extended. It was overextended. This Rio Chonin. Has guts, has great heart, and uh, thus far is giving Carlos Newton fits as we are into the final three minutes of the opening round. And again, there's, uh, I don't know, not much intensity from Carlos Newton even when in dominant position, boss. No, he should uh, push himself away, like I said before. No, no, and look, it's Chonin from the bottom, again turning the tables on Carlos Newton. Yeah, very strange. And you know, we, we can talk about there, as he is on his feet now, wide base, trying to rain the strikes through the defense, and Newton lands one. You know, Newton, I know, is a busy man. He is continuing his studies at York University in Ontario, recently opened up a retirement home, is busy uh, working at uh, Baycrest Hospital in Toronto doing research. But, I mean, if he's going to want to be a fighter in Pride Fighting Championships, he's got to focus on his training as well because... We are seeing, again, a, a, a review, a, a repeat of a movie we've seen in his fight against Takase. And uh, this is not the Ronin, Carlos Newton, that we are accustomed to seeing, boss. Yep, you're absolutely right, Mauro. Um, they're going to restart it in the center of the ring. But, uh, yeah, you're right. It's, uh, it's strange. He's got a dominant position, and suddenly he loses it. He had a full, you know, he had an armbar submission. And, uh, again, you can give that to Rio Chonin, but why was he unable to finish it? Yep, I don't know. Now Chonin again from the uh, guard, and look at him, just rain down those right hands. Now he's got mount. Nice. nice. Now he's going to go for an armbar. Chonin. Carlos is going Carlos to jump over to the body. He's got to jump over. Pulls it out there. He's got to jump over to this side, over the body. Newton has to pull his arm out. 
And he is able to do just that. Just over a minute, Carlos. He should really go for it. We hear his corner say, just over one minute left. You know, really, so far, it's been a uh, perfunctory performance here for Noon, because even when he has uh, guard position, top position, there's no intensity. It's all Rio Chonan has been perpetual motion, and uh, his corner is imploring Newton. He's, they're screaming out, action, Carlos, action. And so far, it's been anything but action from the Canadian Carlos Newton. How do you explain this, boss? I, I have no explanation. You know, um, what can I say? I mean, this is not the yeah the Carlos we know. Going for submission, I, maybe maybe mentally it took a lot out of him uh, after the armbar attempt. You know, he's got mm -hmm. a full on, and then uh, Jonan escaped. But he's not. You know, he's he's five and three in pride. He's had over 20 fights in his career. He's been in pressure situations. He's a former champion in UFC. He's, uh, you know, an adopted son here in Japan. And uh, again, now with the seconds running out in round one, uh, a frustrating round, I'm sure, for Carlos Arona Newton. But on the flip side, uh, a good round for Rio Jonah. Yep. Uh, Carlos looked tired, looks tired. I saw him breathing heavy there, sitting on the ground before he moved to his corner. Uh, Chona looks actually pretty good, as we can see here. Yeah, I, I have no explanation, Mauro. I don't know what's going on. Let's take a look at the replay here, boss, and see yeah. if maybe you can pick something up that we can notice. Now the armbar comes. He's got it full on. Look at this. He's got it full. He's hyper-extending it. That's unbelievable. I mean, it's it's crazy. He's the gummiest Chona. He should have... Oh, my God. He should have bucked so high, and now he's going to get out. Watch what he... And the escape that Joe and I does, I mean, that's not an escape you can find in my books. <laughs> I mean, this is totally against the, the laws of yeah, nature. that's right. So it goes against all the logic of MMA, but a great escape by Rio Chonan. Look, and he, now he's doing the same thing on, on, on Carlos. Carlos should have jumped over his body here. Right. Gone to the other side, but yeah. uh, he's able to power out in any event, uh, pull the arm out. And in fact, it looked like Chonin almost uh, knew that perhaps he wasn't going to be able to uh, sink it in, and he almost looked like he said, okay, I'm not going to waste any more energy, and almost looked like he released it himself there for a moment. Yeah, it's... it's he looks like he's, he's fighting a real smart fight here as Rio Chonin. Chonin's doing a great job. Carlos really got to do something now to win this fight. All right, the final five minutes between Carlos Newton and Rio Chonan. And Chonan gets him off Chonan and now he's fresh. locked. Carlos Newton, there's knees, strikes, and oh. one right up the middle. He should go to the body. He has Newton along the ropes. Oh, there's another nice knee. knee. And Carlos Newton looks to be in trouble in the corner. Another oh, knee. Man. Uppercut. Oh, and another knee. And we heard that here on ringside. Oh. Carlos Newton is in a world of trouble, boss. Oh, that is not good. Knee oh, after knee. This, right. this is trouble for Carlos Newton. Rio Chonan is reigning in the knees and the rights. Carlos Newton is hanging on, desperately trying to stay alive in the corner. But Rio Chonan is all over Carlos Newton. Wow. Oh, Another oh, knee. You could hear it. How much more will the referee allow Carlos Newton to absorb? Rio Chonan is dismantling Carlos Newton oh, here one. at Bushido 5. And look, at and look at Carlos Newton all of a sudden rising from the ashes like a phoenix. And he slips a jerk on another. Unbelievable. No, he doesn't have the full guard around him. But how? What? Yes, he's going to have it. Watch this. Look at this. This is incredible, boss. If he can pull this off, that will be unbelievable. I mean, uh, uh, there's no way to explain what we just saw because Carlos Newton looked to be finished in the corner and just like that turns the tables and now has Rio Chonan. Wow, he should really work that choke now. Start hitting 
uh, hitting the head, hitting the head, really go to try to dig in that choke. Although it's going to be very difficult. There he is there now. He looks is. like he's sinking no, it in. No, but no, Jonan, no. cognizant of it and doing what you have always ad advocated, boss, turning himself into the choke and uh, releasing all the pressure. And I don't know what kind of strength Newton has left. Maybe all he's doing here is trying to regain his faculties, boss, and who can blame him? Yeah, I mean... That barrage of knees and punches was, it, it was crazy. Um, and that's why Carlos Newton is considered a world-class fighter. And that's the action you can expect here at Pride Fighting Championships and Bushido 5. The way of the warrior, the samurai spirit, alive and well. Look at that back fist. It was like an old kung fu movie it there, he did there on Carlos. <laughs> A tremendous sequence. We saw Rio Chonan in the corner, and now Carlos Newton has stayed alive. Chonan now should push, put his right foot out close to his butt, and then turn as fast as he can to the left. And then he's going to end up in the in guard the car, of Carlos Newton. Right. He's going to try the other way, which is very strange, but again, apparently he pulls it off. <laughs> it's like, again, against all, all laws of nature. He's doing things, and for some reason he pulls it off. It's crazy. But still, he has to do it. Right <laughs> leg. <laughs> <That's> an interesting <laughs> yeah. uh, shot that's, there. That's, that's the, the second back, back fist back from the Kung Fu movie. Yep. And uh, the fans here applaud uh, a very entertaining couple of minutes here between Carlos Newton and Rio Chonan. This could be trouble. Newton, each of them are getting the red card. <laughs> Yeah, this what? is going to be dangerous. Uh, it's going to be a flying knee, I think, here. Do you think Chonin. Newton's recovered, boss? You looked into his eyes. What's your take on this? He's got his guard up. There's a nice low leg kick delivered by Chonin. Oh. Next right, and the knee. Newton get in trouble. A barrage of knees now. He's on it. He's rolling over now, trying desperately to find some sort of... Wow. Safety here, but uh, Rio Chonan has got Carlos Newton again in trouble. North-south position, knee strikes to the head. Now inside control, boss. Yeah, what can I say? It's uh, totally Chonan right now. He's controlling the fight, dominating the fight. Um, Carlos really needs to do something here, again, like in all the other fights. Otherwise, he's not going to win. He needs a submission or a knockout. Final minute of this fight, and it is proving to be Rio Chonad's coming out party here in Pride Bushi oh! because he is absolutely destroying Carlos yeah. Newton with those knees, boss. Oh, that last knee, that was unbelievable. Carlos is like Rocky Marciano. I mean, come on. How many shots did he got? It's unbelievable the amount of punishment that he has absorbed in this fight. Final half minute now. Full mount by Chonan. Reigning in the strikes now. And look at Noon. He just wants to keep him close and hopefully avoid any more of the devastating punishment that he has been subjected to. And now he's done posturing again, boss. And now he's coming. the armbar. Chonan, you know, he's no, he knows there's only 30 seconds left, but he's giving everything he has. He knows he's ahead on points, is, but look, he wants to fight. Look at this. He wants to finish, to finish And that is what Bushido's all about. And right now, thus far, this is the poster boy for Bushido 5, Rio Chonan. What an outstanding performance here tonight. Wow, Carlos still on the ground. Now his corner is helping him up. No, this was not Carlos Newton as we know him. And really, look if we take a look at the replay, boss, 2004 has not been Carlos Newton's year and in the fight game. Look at this, this whole barrage of knees and kicks he's going to get. Look at those knees. I mean, oh my God. Boss, has it come to a point now as you continue to look at the replays where even at the age of 28, knowing full well that he has an incredible career ahead of him in the medical field, that you cannot train part-time, especially at this level, obviously, in pride, that maybe Carlos Newton has to go home and rethink his career and yeah. really decide whether or not... I mean, I, again, uh, I don't know. You're absolutely right with what you said. You know, he's doing so many things at home, he should be concentrating on fighting alone. You know, six weeks before the fight, forget about everything else, train two times a day, and that's about it. On the free days, take your rest, you know, go go out, do, do something nice, relax. But 
don't have any other things on your mind because that is going to break you like you just see. Look at Let's this. Let's take a look at this, boss. And here we go, the barrage again. And the knee's coming. Beautiful. If you're a fan of real children. <laughs> Judge Brato, Tuna! Judge Miyake, Tuna! Judge Araji, Tuna! Good day!